in the name of God, pure and free from any defects. Hello. As I promised, in this clip we will get to know more about the tourist places in England, and the next clip will be about Bahrain. If you love these clips, don't forget to like and subscribe. Well, let's go. Sights of England The Tower of London This stunning tower was once a royal palace and a notorious prison. This infamy is due to the executions, murders, and tortures that have taken place behind the walls of this place in the last thousand years. This tower is now registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is one of the most popular sites in England. This tower was built in 1078 and its area is about 18 hectares. Today, there are several exhibitions in it for the public to visit. Exhibitions of Royal Armour jewels and royal crowns of England and artifacts related to palace prisons can fascinate tourists for hours without getting tired. The Tower of London is located in the City of London, St. Catharines and Wapping. The superstition about this tower has also made it attractive for tourists which is related to the crows of the tower and it is said that as long as these crows are in the tower, the monarchy will continue and if they leave, the monarchy will collapse. There are many ravens in the Tower of London, but only seven ravens have this high status. Eden Project England's landmark Eden Project is a collection of unique artificial biomes that house an amazing array of plants from around the world. These are large dome-shaped greenhouses, in each of which thousands of species of tropical and Mediterranean plants are placed. No columns are used in the structure of this greenhouse and it is considered an architectural masterpiece. The height of this roof is such that it is possible for 11 double-decker buses to be placed on top of each other. Roman Baths of Bath City If you only have time to visit one English city, there is no better option than Bath. This beautiful city has so many attractions that you can spend a whole day on it. But the most important reason that has made the city famous in England is its 2,000-year-old Roman thermal baths. This large complex of baths was built around 70 BC and is the most complete remains of Roman baths in the world. These hot water baths are filled daily with 1,170,000 liters of water that has a temperature of 46 degrees Celsius. This bathhouse is an interactive museum full of treasures and remnants of the Roman era. The town of Bath is very ideally located for exploring the scenic areas of England. Among these scenic areas, we can mention the Avon Valley, Mendip Hills, and other extraordinary attractions of Somerset. The city of Beth is registered as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. York Minster and Yorkshire In the 7th century, Minster was the center of Christianity in the north of England, and today it is a thriving church and one of the most prominent sites in England. York Church is on the second place among churches and religious centers in England. This church has two towers with a height of 53 meters and one tower with a height of 70 meters. By climbing the 275 steps of the central tower, you can see all the sites of York. Every part of the ancient building, 
from the exquisite hand-hewn stonework to the unique collection of medieval stained glass, tells the story of Jesus Christ. A story that has been attracting tourists from all over the world for more than 1,000 years. York Cathedral is located in the center of the city of York and its surroundings are full of houses, shops, and churches. In addition to this religious part of the city of York, the romantic streets of York with its charming walls as well as the National Rail Transport Museum are among the sights of England in this beautiful city. York is also a great place to walk through the beautiful English countryside and hills. London Clock Tower, Big Ben the London Clock Tower was built in 1856 with a length of 96 meters and 11 floors in the burned remains of the Palace of Westminster and became one of the landmarks of England. This tower has had many names during its many years of life. Since 2012, in honor of Queen Elizabeth II, the name of the tower has been changed to Elizabeth Tower, but for tourists it is still the Clock Tower of London and for locals it is Big Ben. Big Ben is the name of the 13-ton bell of this tower. The tower clock has four faces that can be seen from any point and its accuracy is exemplary. Since 2017, the clock tower of London has been out of service for a certain period of time for repairs and renovations, and it only chimes for Christmas and Memorial Day. Canterbury Cathedral You cannot leave England without visiting the famous Canterbury Cathedral and the tomb of Thomas Becket. Canterbury Cathedral is one of the oldest Christian churches in England, which continues to play a central role in English Christianity. Canterbury Cathedral is located in the heart of the historic city of Canterbury, which is the seat of the Archbishop of Canterbury and the Cradle of Christianity in England. This building is one of the sites of England that has been registered as a UNESCO Cultural Heritage. Canterbury Cathedral with 160 meters long, 47 meters wide and three towers with a height of 72 meters was built in 597 AD by St. Augustine. And since then, it was an important spiritual center, but after the death of St. Thomas Bacon in 1170, it also became a pilgrimage center. The grandeur of the architecture of this church shows the historical and religious importance of Canterbury. The building has many stunning sites, such as the Romanian crypt, the nave, the shrine of St. Thomas, biblical images, and beautiful medieval stained glass windows. Warwick Castle If you are looking for a memorable tour of a medieval English house, Warwick Castle is a good choice. Warwick is a medieval castle built of wood in 1068 in Warwickshire. The original wooden castle was rebuilt in the 12th century and turned into a stone castle. During the Hundred Years' War, it was used as a military castle, therefore it is considered one of the most prominent examples of military castles. This castle was granted to Sir Fulk Greville in the early 17th century and was used as a family fortress. This castle is full of large rooms and beautiful halls. And today it is used by an investment company as a place to hold various festivals, concerts, and exhibitions. 
Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace is the Queen's official residence in London, which is open to tourists in the summer. This palace is one of the largest active royal palaces in the world and one of the sites of England. The palace is often the center of special public events and royal parties, and the special venue for England's national celebrations. Magnificent rooms, Queen's Gallery, and beautiful gardens are among the attractions of this palace. Tintagel Castle Tintagel Castle is located on the north coast of Cornwall and has magnificent views of the Atlantic Ocean and the magical ruins of the medieval castle of Tintagel. It is said that this castle is full of mystery, the birthplace of King Arthur and is one of the must-see places in England. This castle was added to the list of top attractions in England from the middle of the 19th century. British Museum The British Museum is among the best museums in the world with a collection of ancient works. More than 13 million works of art from Assyria, Babylon, Egypt, Greece, Roman Empire, China, and Europe are displayed in this museum. The British Museum is divided into different sections, including paintings, engravings, and pictures, coins and emblems, ancient Egypt and Sudan, Western Asia, Greece and Rome, the Middle Ages and later periods, Islamic art, Oriental antiquities, prehistoric works, cognitive works and the works of Leonardo da Vinci are divided the most famous antiquities in this museum which has made it one of the most important places to visit in England include the collection of Elgin marbles and the Rosetta stone Roman silver of the 4th century known as the Mildon Hall treasure and ancient Egyptian artifacts also, Cyrus Charter of Human Rights, Pablo Picasso's black and white designs and patterns, mummy coffins, Confucius portrait, and Sassanian silver cup, etc. are kept in this museum. National Gallery the National Gallery is the second most visited museum in London and one of the most prominent places to visit in England, with the most comprehensive collection of paintings in the world. This gallery displays European paintings from 1260 to 1920. The gallery is divided into separate sections of Italian, French, German, British, and other works. You can see works by Da Vinci, Baptist, Michelangelo, and Rembrandt, Franz Hals, Hogarth, Renoir. In this gallery, Museum of Natural History. This museum was established in 1881 as a part of the British Museum, but it was separated from the British Museum in 1963 and known as the Natural History Museum since 1992. This museum in London is one of the sites of England with more than 130 years of history, which attracts many tourists. 70 million specimens from the five departments of geology, botany, entomology, mineralogy, paleontology, and zoology are on display in this brick building. You will see the collection of dinosaur skeletons and fossils, the skeleton of a blue whale, Darwin's specimens in this museum. The library of this museum contains a large number of books, journals, manuscripts, and collections and researches of scientific groups. 
International Slavery Museum. This museum is the only national museum in the world in the field of the painful history of slavery and is one of the sites of England in Liverpool. Vector stories across the Atlantic and beyond have been exhibited internationally in this museum. The International Slavery Museum is also known as an international pole in the field of human rights. London Science Museum With its interactive exhibitions, the London Science Museum is one of the must-see places in England for those interested in various sciences and techniques. These galleries help to realize scientific principles. Ancient science museums focus on objects related to natural history, paleontology, geology, industry, and industrial machinery, etc. And in its modern part, new technologies are discussed. In the modern part of the museum, amazing objects such as the Stevenson rocket and the Apollo capsules are displayed. Lake District National Park Lake District National Park with a distance of about 2,362 square kilometers is one of the most visited places in England, which is visited by more than 24 million people every year. This park is currently the largest national park in England and a natural world heritage site. The 12 lakes in the park are the main attraction for tourists. Considering that about 50% of this park has been registered as agricultural lands, there has been no change in them and they have kept their natural originality since the beginning of the establishment of the park. Norfolk National Park Board Norfolk Broads National Park, with an area of 303 square kilometers and more than 200 square kilometers of waterways and seven rivers, is one of the sites of England and full of beautiful and breathtaking wild natural scenery. Its 13 waterways are available for sea transportation during the warm seasons of the year. Chester Zoo Chester Zoo is one of the attractions of England in the city of Upton, a few miles north of the city centre of Chester, which is especially attractive for families and children. Between 11,000 animals of 400 different species are kept in this 125 hectare zoo. Among the attractions of England in this zoo are the beautiful gardens with their amazing views. You can use the zoo monorail to see them. The Chimpanzee Island, the Penguin Pool and the largest tropical house in Europe distinguish this zoo from similar examples. New Forest National Park the significant scenery of the New Forest National Park, New Forest, has made it a unique national park in the south of England and an internationally renowned conservation area. This historic forest is a royal hunting ground and one of the sites of England. Some of the trees in this forest are 1,000 years old. This park is a good place for walking, cycling, horse riding and golf. North York National Park North York National Park is a natural area that has become a national park today. High mountains, villages, and museums around the park have multiplied its charm. The park reaches the coastline, which allows fishing. The spectacular part of this park is its wild animals and birds.